that will be congratulating Jana. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, well, we we are we are uh, we are very happy over the fact that Jana who is in uh, high school entering first year, okay? What do you call it now? Ninth grade. Freshman. <laughs> Freshman. And uh, is actually enrolled in MJC, and she did her first class during the summer and, and passed it. MVP. So, congratulations! Okay, and we'd like to greet Tita Nessie also. Tita Nessie, hi. Uh, Tita Nessie is uh, celebrating her. How old is it Ness now? 54th. Must be 49th birthday in the Philippines, my baby sister. Happy birthday. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, boy. Okay. It's Friday, uh, August 2nd already, 2019. And today we're here. We're still continuing uh, the Gospels from St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 54 to 55. Okay. This is very interesting. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. <clears throat> so, where did Jesus grow up? What's the what's that native place? Nazareth. Nazareth, okay? Nazareth. Okay. They were astonished and said, "Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds?" They were wondering, where did this guy get all this? Is he not the carpenter's son? That's how they knew him. The carpenter's son, the son of Joseph. Is not his mother named Mary? And his brothers, Joseph, James, Simon, and Judas? When brothers, they don't mean siblings. They mean here, you know, cousins and members of the family. And are not his sisters all with us? Same relatives, right? Not siblings. Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. So, very interesting how people were confused. They were dumbfounded. They did not understand where did, did this guy who we knew growing up, growing up, sorry, who we knew growing up with us in our community, in our midst, right? Who studied the scriptures with us, perhaps, uh, and, 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 and was our playmate, right? We were playing with him. We were growing up playing with him. And, and uh, later on, he took up his father's uh, um, skills and, uh, and trade, which is carpentry. So he was not only the carpenter's son, but he himself was a carpenter. He was the son of Mary, who helped Mary with house chores, who helped Mary fetch water from the well, who helped Mary... Uh, tend to maybe some uh, chickens or some little animals that they might have had around the house. Where did this guy ever get all this wisdom? How is he now, after 30 years old, going about every town and every place, preaching about the kingdom of God and saying the kingdom of God is at hand and calling himself the son of God? Where did all of these things come from? How did all of these things happen? Right? These must have been the thoughts running in the minds of all of these neighbors of Jesus. Right? And uh, it would have been a different story if, uh, you know, among your friends and neighbors or cousins, one of them or one of you goes off to Harvard right? and comes back to the neighborhood and say, Hey, I got a Harvard degree and um, I know much more than all of you now and I can do this and I can do that. But no. Jesus was not like that. He didn't go to, off to Harvard or to some uh, 
Pharisee school or something uh, to learn um, in everything he was teaching them, right? What they didn't know was that Jesus was indeed the Son of God who came down to earth to take on our nature as man in order to save us. But in the meantime, before he carried out his ultimate mission on earth, which is to save man, mankind from sin, he lived amongst his neighbors and relatives. He lived a very, very ordinary life. He lived a very ordinary life. Why did Jesus do that, you might ask? Why didn't he just come down in a grand way on a mighty chariot and say, Here I am, the Savior of the world, and from now on you're all saved from your sins. Why did Jesus choose to come to earth as a tiny baby in poverty, in the poorest of conditions you can imagine? He was not born in a palace. He was born in a stable lived in poverty, lived among ordinary people, chose a carpenter to be his father, and a maiden uh, 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 from a nondescript place on earth to be his mother. Why did he do all of that? And I think the, simple, the, the, the reason is simple. Because he said himself, I am the way the truth and the life, right? Because he wanted to show the way how we ordinary people can sanctify ourselves in the middle of the world, can become saints in the middle of the world. That's what we were talking about yesterday, right? How we can go to heaven by being saints, by doing things extraordinarily well while we are here on earth. And that's going to be our pathway to heaven. And that's why it's, it's a good thing to congratulate Jana for passing her, her uh, first college course while in grade 8 or 9th, right? Because, because I know for a fact that Jana did her best. She made mistakes along the way, but I think we can all honestly say she tried to do her best. And that's what's important, that we do our best in everything we do because that is what will make us saints to do the ordinary things extraordinarily well and Jesus showed us the way showed us the way of how to live family life how to be part of a family how to do chores how to take upon uh, his father's trade which is carpentry and by the way in another related uh, gospel account do you know what do you know what the townspeople said about him? They said, he has done all things well. Okay? That's a documented statement by people who have witnessed how Jesus lived and how he preached. Right? They actually acclaimed him and said, he has done all things well. And people were so proud of him that they praised even his own mother for raising such a son. Blessed is the mother that gave you suck, right? the breasts that gave you suck. Okay? Blessed is your mother for having raised such a son, such an illustrious son. Right? And that was because Jesus did everything very, very well, extraordinarily well. You could imagine how Jesus put into practice all the virtues that we are all now trying to emulate. We are now all trying to put into practice in doing our ordinary work of every day. From our chores, to our prayers, to our studies, to everything that there is we do. Right? So we have to emulate Jesus. We have to practice the same virtues that Jesus practiced. We have to do everything extraordinarily well. Even if nobody's watching. Okay? Even if nobody's watching, even if nobody can notice us, because our intention is not to please everybody else. It's not to please mommy or, or, or papa. It's not to please anybody else but God. God is watching. God is the only one worth pleasing. God is the only one that we need to 
to to uh, to please in order that we can give greater glory and honor to him by the work of our hands okay so jesus did all things well and he has shown us the way he showed us the way because he is the way right it's like an invitation i am the way so copy me do as i did okay and before his public life he lived an ordinary life, lived extraordinarily well. So let's follow that way that Jesus shows us. And by we can do that by living up to the virtues that he himself practiced okay, and which we can now emulate. Let us follow Jesus' example because he is the way. Okay, okay. that's it for us, folks. We will go to Mass now. Have a good day, everybody. And Titanes, enjoy your birthday. You know, we're all here to greet you. Oh, yeah, let's all greet Titanesi now. Come on. Let's all say happy birthday, Titanesi. Happy birthday. Hey. Happy there birthday. is Jana. Happy birthday, Ness. Happy birthday. Ah, uh, uh, mommy. Birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Tita. Hey, Eva. Eva Grace is there. Happy and Joseph. And where happy is birthday, Mia? Ah, why are you not smiling, Mia? There you go. Very good. Okay. Have a good weekend, everybody. We hope to see you on Monday. On Monday. That's right. We're, we normally are off on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.